Today we're going to talk about the price action in Bitcoin and Ether because just last night we saw Ether pump from roughly $750 all the way up to nearly $900 and now we're sustaining at around $850. And if you guys watched my previous videos, you guys know that I've been bullish on Ether for quite some time. I've been saying to buy it at all sorts of different levels throughout time. One of my more recent ones was back when I think Ether was trading at roughly 3.8 million Satoshi. That was when the Crypto Kitties thing came out and everybody was saying how that was the death of Ether or it showed how Ether was such a flawed cryptocurrency. And I'm here saying that's just increasing adoption. That's a phenomenal thing. So different worlds, I guess, different interpretations for the same thing. But I've been bullish on Ether for quite some time. And I've been saying for quite some time that the target price range or the target cross-currency pair between Ether and Bitcoin is 5.5 to 6 million Satoshi. And we finally reached that level recently. And I sold some Ether for Bitcoin at 5.75 million Satoshi. Okay, I said that I was going to at roughly that level. And that's what I did. So I did move some over. The rest I'm going to continue holding on to. And I said that the next price level or the next important Satoshi level that I'm going to be watching for is going to be roughly in this seven and a half million area, seven and a half to eight million. I think there's going to be a lot of resistance there just based off of if you look at this chart over the longer term here. Keep in mind that this is the one week candles. So we have a lot of price trading action that's around that seven million area. I think a lot of people are going to want to sell off at that area. So there's going to be substantial resistance there. If we break out to the upside from there, who knows where we can go. But I probably will sell a little bit of my position into Bitcoin if we reach 7.5 million Satoshi or so. So that's my next price target for Ether. I think it's going to be very important to see whether or not we can sustain above 6 million Satoshi. That's going to be a very critical support line. If we're not able to hold above 6 million, I don't really know what to say about it because I'm still going to be bullish on Ether in the long term. I just don't think that the momentum is going to be able to sustain much longer if we can't keep this above that 5.5 to 6 million Satoshi range that I was talking about previously. And we've seen Ether come up to this level before recently, back, I don't know, sometime in October maybe. At some point in the last couple of months, we've seen Ether come up to this level and then come back down. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen again, obviously, but I'm going to watch it closely because Ether tends to, for whatever reason, it just hasn't been able to sustain its pumps against Bitcoin. Time might be different this time because if you look at, oops, I forgot that I had this on night mode. Let's go ahead and turn that off. So the last time we've seen Ether pump like this, a lot of times it's been when Bitcoin has been doing just fine itself. But we've been seeing this Bitcoin dominance figure slip away. And a lot of people are moving their cryptocurrency from Bitcoin into altcoins. And the reason I think that's happening is because if you look at Bitcoin here, you can see that we've really been consolidating in that $13,000 to $14,000 level or so over the last couple of days. And I think a lot of people are getting bored of the returns in Bitcoin, despite the fact that we have absurdly low volume. This really isn't enough to say what's going to happen with Bitcoin next. We don't know if it's going to break out to the upside or the downside. Should be interesting to see what happens after all of the holidays pass and everybody gets back into trading. But while Bitcoin isn't doing much, people, I think, tend to move their cryptocurrency allocations from Bitcoin into altcoins because altcoins continue to perform recently. If you look at some of these figures relative to Bitcoin, you can see that quite a few are in the green. And more importantly, I think a lot of people are chasing the mega returns. And when I say mega returns, I mean we've had a lot of cryptocurrencies recently that are seeing really high pumps. Steam is one that's recently seen an absurd pump, which is awesome. And we'll probably be talking about that in another video here because I plan on doing another video today talking about Ryblox. And be prepared to be disappointed because you guys know that I'm always the guy who is, well, you guys know I'm fairly negative on most things. So we're going to be talking about Ryblox. Get prepared to hit your dislikes because I disagree with almost everybody's assessment of it. 
and that includes Datadash. Datadash did a fairly in-depth video talking about Ryblox. He was fairly bullish on it. I'm going to practically crush all bullishness there is on Ryblox. So if you're interested in hearing about that, stay tuned because later today we're going to talk about that. I know it's going to be difficult for some people to hear. I know I'm going to get a ton of dislikes on that video and probably some dislikes on this video for even saying it, but it has to be done. Somebody has to do it. So we'll get to that soon here, but this video is focused on Ether and Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and stay focused on that. I will continue to be bullish on Ether. I, I've been bullish on Ether for a very long time now. I think there was a lot of support behind it. I think there's a lot of developer support behind it, not just community support. A lot of people really want to see Ether work. So even if it may not be the best cryptocurrency to do what it needs to do because it's, so to speak, a second gen cryptocurrency as opposed to a third gen cryptocurrency, I think Ether is going to do just fine in the long term here. I think it has a lot of network effect, and I think a lot of people are going to continue developing for it. I think they have an incredible team behind it, and I think there's going to be, I think this year is going to be a very good year for Ether. It should be interesting to watch over the long term, but for now, my short term price target is going to be in that 7.5 million to 8 million Satoshi level, and I will provide any updates if we see this continue to move upward. As usual, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. I tend to be a lot more active on my Steemit if you want to interact with me, just because number one, the number of comments is a lot more manageable. In addition to that, it's accessible for all of you, so if you want to see what my responses were to any of my videos, you can look here. Sometimes my responses get lost on YouTube because it doesn't work off of that tree branch type thing. You have to hit show replies and it can be hard to figure out which ones I've replied to. And then finally here, there is a monetary incentive for both you and I to post on the platform. I mean, you can see here that I get paid to post on here. And then in addition to that, you can see that other people can upvote your comments, which can increase the value of what you get paid on the platform as well. And plus, there's a ton of high value comments here. You can see that a lot of times people spend quite a bit of time posting comments on my videos. Thank you so much for those of you who post these remarkable comments that really make other people think, make me think, because you add value to this entire community, right? I actually think more value exists in the comment sections for my videos, especially on Steemit, than in the videos themselves a lot of times. So make sure you check that out. Otherwise, as usual, leave a like, comment, and subscription, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.